Welcome back everyone. Today, we're diving into one of the most popular questions for anyone curious about cybersecurity or hacking. What exactly should I learn to get started in hacking? The online world is more complex than ever, and this field needs skilled hackers who understand the inner workings of systems and security. In this video, I'll help you navigate the vast landscape of skills, tools, and resources you'll need to become a skilled and ethical hacker. By the end, you'll have a roadmap that'll set you on the right track. So grab your coffee, because we're about to unlock the door to the world of hacking. But before we dive in, let me introduce myself. My name is Josh, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid cybersecurity, ethical hacking, or cloud pro fast. Before we jump into the skills, let's clarify what hacking really is. Forget Hollywood's dark rooms and cloaked figures. Real hackers are problem solvers and protectors. Ethical hackers work on the front lines of cybersecurity, identifying and fixing vulnerabilities to protect organizations and users. Your first lesson is this. Hacking isn't about breaking things. It's about understanding systems deeply and making them stronger. If you keep this mindset, you'll not only thrive, but also make a meaningful impact in this field. Every great hacker masters four core pillars, programming, networking, operating systems, and cybersecurity tools. These are your building blocks. Let's break each of them down so you know where to start and what to expect. Programming. This is the foundation of hacking. To understand how applications and systems work and to manipulate them, you'll need programming knowledge. Start with Python. It's easy to learn and widely used in ethical hacking. Python will help you with automation, scripting, and even some quick hacking tasks. Then consider exploring C to understand how systems interact with memory, which is essential for exploiting vulnerabilities. For web security, JavaScript or PHP can be useful since they're commonly used in web applications. Don't aim to master every language. Instead, focus on understanding the mechanics behind them. Networking fundamentals. Hacking relies heavily on knowing how data flows through networks. Concepts like the OSI model, TCP IP protocols, DNS, and VPNs are essential. Networking isn't just theoretical. Tools like Wireshark allow you to see data packets in action, giving you hands-on experience with traffic analysis. Operating systems, especially Linux. Most hackers use Linux due to its flexibility, open source nature, and compatibility with various hacking tools. Install a Linux distribution like Kali Linux or Ubuntu and learn essential commands. These will be your gateway to advanced system control. Practice navigating the terminal and get comfortable with commands. It's the core language of hackers. And now, let's talk about hacking tools and techniques. The right tools can make all the difference. Industry standards like Wireshark for packet analysis, Nmap for network scanning, and Metasploit for penetration testing are must-haves in your toolkit. Don't just use them. Understand what they're doing. This way, you'll go beyond surface-level usage and know exactly how these tools are impacting the systems you're testing. So where should you begin? Here's some advice on tailoring your journey. There's no one-size-fits-all path in hacking. The good news? You can tailor your learning journey to match your interests. Here's a quick roadmap to help you choose your direction. If coding intrigues you, begin with Python and start building simple scripts for things like password generators or small automation projects. If networking feels like you're calling, focus on mastering network protocols and analyzing traffic with tools like Wireshark. If system security captivates you, Set up a lab environment with virtual machines and practice securing a Linux server. Regardless of where you start, dive into projects as early as possible. Want to understand how malware works? Try building a safe virus simulation in a controlled environment. Interested in web security? Create a basic website and secure it against common vulnerabilities. Projects don't just teach you, they give you a portfolio that you can showcase. Next up, Let's talk about the importance of practice and mistakes. If there's one thing that separates beginners from pros, 
It's practice. Start small, make mistakes, and keep building on what you learn. Platforms like Try Hack Me and Hack the Box provide safe, real-world scenarios where you can practice legally and safely. Don't just watch tutorials. Apply what you learn, test yourself, and when you make mistakes, learn from them. Write down your insights, keep a hacking journal, and track your growth. This will not only boost your knowledge, but also your confidence in tackling more complex challenges. At this point, I want to touch on ethics and legality. These are cornerstones in hacking. The hacking community values ethics and legality. Unauthorized access to systems is illegal and can have serious consequences. So keep hacking ethical. Only work in controlled, legal environments and respect the boundaries of privacy and data security. Being a hacker isn't just about skills, it's about using those skills responsibly to protect others and build trust. Let's talk about learning resources and communities. One of the best ways to grow as a hacker is by joining a community. Reddit's r cybersecurity and OWASP's Slack community offer forums for discussions, resources, and insights from experienced pros. You can also strengthen your social engineering skills here, which is the art of understanding human behavior to anticipate and counter cybersecurity threats. Resources like Linux Journey will guide you through operating system essentials, while Cybrary offers courses to deepen your knowledge on a variety of topics. All right, ready to launch into the next phase of your journey? Here's how to set yourself up for success. Hacking is constantly evolving, and your journey in hacking will be one of lifelong learning. My final tips? Stay curious, keep practicing, and take one step at a time. The skills you build today will lay the foundation for a promising career in hacking tomorrow. So start with what excites you, and remember, consistency is key. Just a few hours a week can put you ahead, and your journey will always bring new challenges and rewards. Thanks for tuning in. You've taken the first step towards an exciting and impactful career in hacking. If this guide helped, make sure to subscribe for more insights and resources. And if you have questions, drop them in the comments. I'm here to help you succeed. Remember, hacking isn't about breaking. It's about protecting, building, and constantly learning. Good luck, and welcome to the world of ethical hacking. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.